hello everyone bug whisperer here and in our last video we just changed our white.config.js in order to enable our absolute path so from now on whenever we are importing anything from some other folders we are going to use this absolute path instead of relative path because a relative path is just um, it's confusing and it's harder to maintain so yeah in today's video we're going to like definitely delete these things delete these things and we're going to make a home page i think i won't be able to make the whole home page in one video so now i'll be uh, focusing more on making the navigation bar so yeah let's just get started so <clears throat> let's keep them here for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a layout for all pages currently we have only one page home page but that's fine uh, let's make a directory inside our source folder named layouts and here we will have common layout.tsx because uh, there will be a few more layouts for example admin layouts then maybe author layouts maybe um, so yeah that's done so now inside our common layout common layout we're gonna return something so now uh, I want to show you something here I'm going to make an index.ts file and I'm going to export my common layout from this index.ts file and I'll tell you why I'm doing this just uh, just a second later so export common layout from common layout and now if I import that common layout from here I can just say common layout it's just gonna import from this layouts it's not gonna import from layouts slash common layout and it's easier to maintain this way so yeah now what i'm going to do is this common layout will wrap our component so this common layout will be a layer like a wrapper component so it must have a children children prop which can be anything for now and let's just say instead of that we want a box and inside that box I want to have a title title this is inside our layout and then we're going to add this children here now yeah now we're gonna wrap this up with our common layout and inside that we're gonna put this uh, put our codes so now what's gonna happen is whatever I put here it's gonna be inside this part so yeah since we're using Mantin Mantin has a, a component a layout component called app shell and we're going to use that for our layout so instead of this we're gonna use app shell app shell and this app shell has a few sections like if i just keep it like this nothing's nothing's much gonna change yeah nothing will change so what we have to do is inside this sorry inside this app shell we have app shell dot not nav bar header and well we have navbar which will 
work as a sidebar but we don't want sidebar in our in our project so we're just gonna use app shell dot main and i'm gonna put our children here and inside that we're going to let's say we're going to put this so it's still not going to work that that properly and <clears throat> in order for it to work we have to do a few things so here i need header and i have to property height is missing yeah so inside our header we have to fix we have to tell them the height so let's just say height is 60 and by default maintain like if we put a number in height or width whatever uh, they will evaluate this as a pixel so it's gonna be 60 pixel and as you can see our header has a 60 pixel height and it's it's looking relatively better so now what I'm going to do is instead of hello I need a component for our header and I'll not use like I'll not write that header code inside our layout we're gonna put that inside a component a separate component so inside our layouts we're going to make another component called sorry another folder called components and inside our components we're going to put our custom header custom header custom header so let's just do this and return something and again even like inside our components we're going to make another index.ts file again it's not important uh, but but i personally like this because it reduces the import file path and it also it also has a few other like advantages i'll get to that later so yeah export custom header from custom header and inside our layout we're not using box and title here and instead of that i'm going to import this let's just say this is our custom header and here i'm gonna put custom custom header we don't need the closing closing tag uh, because that's not a wrapper component so as you can see here we don't really have to add this because we're still inside our layouts and components is our child folder so relative path is relative path is okay we only care about absolute path when we have to navigate up and then somewhere down so yeah that's that so if we go here as you can see this is our custom header we have to make this header a little bit beautiful and in our next video we're going to like make this header transparent and have a big like home page image and some buttons and some cards so it's gonna be interesting so for now we're just going to delete this and inside our header we're just gonna say custom header but it's not gonna work um, so uh, definitely we don't want a h1 here text text and of course we have to import text from mantin yep so yeah that's fine but what i actually want is something like this
so I want this header to be like hundred percent height uh, because I want this to be in the middle so style we're not gonna keep the styles uh, we're just trying it out and if it works we're gonna make a new styled components for our header and then we're gonna use that where we don't have to, like I don't personally love to use inline styles so yeah let's just put height to be 100% and inside this I'm gonna use group group is uh, group basically comes from maintain and yeah and what it does is it basically creates a normal flex box so i want it to be uh, here so align will be center and justify content will be space between i will have some you know some links navigation bar links here in our right portion so yeah so let's keep <clears throat> this here and then i want another group another group and inside that group let's just put a few items here these are just placeholders so okay let's keep it that way and it still doesn't look good uh, what we're gonna do is style height we have to put it 100% and then th there are a few props here for example align has to be center so these items are now centered and then we're going to put justify to be space around uh, I, I I don't I didn't really want space around it should be space space between so as you can see uh, these are quite cramped in our uh, like left and right so we're going to have some margin 0 10 pixel yep it's it's it looks better maybe 20 pixel or I think 15 is good enough for now and also in in these items I need to be a little bit spaced out so we can say a gap to be 20 so the gaps will be 20 pixels I think I need a little bit more yeah it, it works so now now if we go to our app.tsx let's put a f some margin here 20 yeah and maybe margin top 10 margin top 10 yeah so this is our header and this header is not responsive for now as you can see if we go here oh this this is too much yeah so after i go a few things so as you can see this is not responsive and uh, in our next video what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this header responsive so when i uh, inspect and i go to mobile view these links will be gone and there will be a burger menu here and when i click the burger menu there will be a sidebar popping up from the left so yeah that will be our next video and up until then thank you so much have a good day and please like and subscribe if you like uh, my content.